It's just gone 12 o'clock on uh, Saturday, um, I think it's the 14th of January, and I left Peterborough a little over 24 hours ago. Uh, 12 hours ago, last night at midnight, I arrived in Inverness, and I, I drove out of Inverness to, uh, to a, a little point on the Moray Firth called Fort George, uh, where I found a little parking space by the beach, and, uh, and camped up for the night. I was so exhausted, I didn't have time to sort the van out, really. Um, I just unfolded the bed and crashed. And that was a mistake because, even though I fell asleep straight away, when I woke up um, about four o'clock in the morning, it was quite cold, dropped down to about four degrees in the van. Um, I didn't know where anything was. I hadn't moved the bags forward, um, so, I was a bit disorganised and a bit chaotic, but uh, managed to get a good few hours sleep before getting up this morning and taking a few photographs and then um, calling in at, at the Pace Cafe, which is uh, in a little village just on the way to Fort George. Can't remember the name of the village. I'd really love to be able to recommend the Pace Cafe for an all day breakfast and a cup of coffee but unfortunately I can't. Never mind, onward and upward. I headed into Inverness, filled up with diesel, and reconsidered my route. I spoke to a couple of people, locals, who said that uh, Apple Cross in this weather is probably not the smartest idea. It's a very narrow track goes across to Apple Cross. So I'm gonna take the soft option. I'm heading for Loch Caron at the moment, and my sat nav tells me I'll be there just after just after one o'clock lunchtime uh, and then I'll decide from there according to the weather conditions the road conditions um, whether I head up to Gareloch today or leave that until tomorrow what I really want to do is spend some time sorting out the Sony um, reading the manual getting it all set up getting it on a tripod basically and getting it out there into this amazing scenery I'm blessed today because I've got tons of snow, uh, not too difficult for driving, but also lovely blue skies, uh, sunshine and some good clouds. So, I mean, it'd be perfect to be out there filming at the moment, but what I really want to do is get a few miles under my wheels and then sit down and spend some time learning the camera. And hopefully this weather will still be with me by the time I get outside and filming. So uh, this is 24 hours into the trip. That's enough rabbiting on from me for today. I'll leave you with some scenery. Never should have been a need for this But what you 
Just so I'm back, I kept on going. Find your 